Good morning, everyone. It's Rachel here, and I am going to do uh, my um, random basket making session. So I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. Put that over there. So lots of things to finish off in here. I've even got these wallpapers. Why don't we do something with those? Hmm. Don't know. Um, got all kinds of stuff in here. Those cards. What about some, some envelope-y sort of stuff? We haven't done that for a while. Lots of envelopes in here. could do something with this just trying to see if there's a date on there I think it's got two pages so we could make oh make that into something okay so I'm thinking I'm gonna trim these down rather than having such big ones I'm gonna trim them down like this and that can be some sort of pockety sort of thing. And the same with that one. I might do three of those. Let's grab another one. Let's see here. So they've got, they're not window ones. I want window ones because I'm fussy. So how is everybody today? I hope, oh, that's double window. We don't want double window. How is everyone today? I hope everything is good. Oh. Backs of envelopes. We've got all kinds of things going on here. Here we go. Put those back. Okay. So, these are going to be pockets like that. And we'll look at those afterwards. And that one's open. Where is that one open there? That one's open. Actually, we need to open them all. Oh, that one is open there. This one is not. Because I want to put something in the... I'm just going to tear it. In the background. So then I can decide which way I want them to go. And it is easier if they're a bit open. I've got this and I might keep that, Put that over there. Um, that paper. Oh. I just want some book page and do you think I can find my book page? full of books here we go I like that we'll keep that this we'll use some of this it's a lovely font it's so brittle this paper oh I think we will just stick that on inside each one of those just take a bit more off okay so let's get some glue on there So, does anybody have anything excited, excited, exciting planned for the weekend? I don't. Oh, yes, I do. I'm doing today the Emily Notman course with my sister. So, I'm getting this video done early before it starts. I hope I didn't make a mistake with the time zone and I hope I can figure out the, the Zoom business. There we go. 
one. Now I could get my card and just swoosh that around over there. So that way it's, um, I've obviously decided that they're going to be, well, that's not going to work, is it? I need it to be that way. Oh, well, they're just going to be sideways. I want them that way because they'll fit better into a journal. I didn't think about that, did I? I should have done my writing, torn it the other way. Doesn't matter. It's going to have something in there anyway. Where is this one? Where is this one open? Do you think I can find? Oh, there it is. So just slide it in. Like if it's too much of a struggle, you just um, open three sides and then glue them back down again. I mean, this is is it is a bit of a struggle. I'll just slide it in like that. Hopefully, I didn't get glue everywhere. Um, clean my fingers off. Okay, that's good and then this one here so get the the boring bits done first you certainly don't want to have glue on the you know on the your the side that you can see because then you'll get glue all over your window Right, now I need to remember that these are going to go this way. So I need to grab this glue here. This is just a Tombow glue that was gifted to me actually from Diana. And I'm still using them because she gave me so much glue all the way from Singapore. Thank you, Diana. And I'm just going to glue them shut. You don't necessarily need to decorate the back of them because they're going to be tucks or they might be hinged in which case you would decorate the back of them Okay, so what am I going to use? Not that. Okay, just come into my papers here. Oh, love this. But no, maybe not that. I am enjoying using the, the painted papers. Whether they be original or not, I'm enjoying using those. So I'm just going to rip. So this one does have a direction because of the writing. So lucky I thought about that because I wouldn't normally. I'm going to glue that one there. And then I want to go into my little um, scrap box and just see what I have in there.
see if I've got any strips wide enough. That one, that's good. That's good colour with the painted paper. I just need to tear off a bit of it. A bit more. I don't want to reduce your window too much. Okay, so that's going to go there. So these are bits and pieces that I ripped off um, journal, you know, when I was sizing my journal pages. So they're good things to keep because when you're doing this sort of thing, you have little strips to use. And then I need a bigger piece there. And I could have, do I have anything over here? I've got all these strips over here. I've got strips over here. You probably can't hear me because I turned my head away. Um, but I think I'll use those for another project. Oh, what about a bit of... This old... This is, this is that... No, that blends in with that, so I can't use that. That's the old... Um, the old scrapbooking paper. Oh, I like that green. really is just so relaxing just doing what you feel like I think I might use this piece this piece is a bit big I can use that somewhere else stick that there So I am going to finish up each one as I go. Um, yeah, I think I will. I'm going to fall off my chair if I don't sit on it properly. Oh, I like those colours. And then I put it away. That must be so annoying. Um, but I'm not sure. I do like these as well. Oh, here's one with some actual painting. So all I did here was I just painted um, really quickly a piece of paper like that. And then I just put blobs on it. And, um, yeah, and then I... Um, stamped on it just trying to see if I've got one of these I like these stamped but that's too big these stamped ones Or, I think I might like that one, I do. I'm going to put that one on there. And then I think I might even just leave it after that because you don't really, like I might decide to put a little flower there or something like that. I could see, actually, where's my book? Where's my book? I'll just see quickly. Oh, I don't know where the book is. Is it here on my table somewhere? Oh, here it is, right in front of my face, this book. This book is The, the Wild Flowers of Britain. It's by Richard Fitter. Someone asked me before and I couldn't remember the name. 
and I kept meaning to come in here and and see what the name was that that's what it's called so take note um, so there can be sometimes like a little flower like that that could actually look quite good that one let's just tear it some of them like that sort of thing I would tend to make it into a journal card or something like that actually I'm just having a thought that might I might we might do something with that right now after this okay um, so I might just cut out I didn't bring in my other scissors they're in the other room because I was fussy cutting and I was thinking maybe this one see these ones you can sort of distinguish them and cut them out but sometimes you can't so then those ones you, you use to make other things not to fussy cut. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm going to put that there. There we go. I did decide to put a flower on. I wasn't. Oh, I could put it over there. No, I like it on the other side. Or you could just leave it plain. there we go there's one pocket done and I would stick that that could stick right down onto a page or um, two sides one two or one two the other way and then you've got a tuck and a pocket as well so I'll put that over there and we'll do another one okay, they're not sticking good and oh I know I'm having another idea so what I could do is Another way to use these pages is I could stick that there. How about that? So let's just and then I'll just put it there like that and I can see where to tear it. Hopefully, I always hope and pray that I go straight. just trim that bit off at the top just flip it over and trim it off cool that's a good idea I like that idea I hadn't done that before we'll have a sip of coffee now while I just think about that great idea mm. okay now of course I think I would like it with a bit of this so I might tear this one down to fit the top like so would have been good if it arrived to the edge but it doesn't so what I might do is stick something down there first oh my God, what's this one no I could have oh I like that so that's going to go down there again another scrap from trimming down journal pages very useful things they are put that there now what am I going to have shooting up the side I think I'm going to have that there oh now I don't want that maybe I would have liked a bigger piece up the side of that one If I don't use it here, I'll use it somewhere else. So I could just cover up. I think I didn't, it was the purple bit that was getting me. But if I just keep the green there, then I stay more in with my colors. over 
okay and I wonder if that oh I like that it does it's not quite wide enough oh what a shame I did quite like that I could have green What about a piece of that? Stick that there. Or oh, just let's just tear off the little edges off the side. Okay, and then, actually I might slide that over. I think I'd like it more onto this one than on that one. Okay, and I might just put a little Tracy label on there. No, I don't think I want one. I feel like I wouldn't mind something there. Maybe blue. Just so I'm leaning over to my basket. over there that just sort of amalgamates those two pieces there that was sort of standing out to me I really like that okay so funny I'm going with blues and yellows and greens okay and then I had one more and I think I'll have another sip of my morning coffee and then we're going to move on to that um, so this is just a printout I think this is in my ephemera pack but I wanted, I've got an idea to put it on with that page there. Uh, so, first of all, I might just stick this down because this needs to be used up. So that can just go down there straight away. So we don't waste any time. Just trim off, flip it over and trim off any excess that is bothering. Okay. Now. I did establish that I don't want any yellowy sort of script because um, because uh, it just blends in with what's in the window. Have a look at this, see if that will fit. No, I could have a piece of it there, but no, I won't use that. At least it's cleaned up for the next time. I do like this script is different. I could use that doesn't quite fit. Oh, I can have it down there and I can have something going across the top. If you put it down like that. Let's just tear it. Because it's a different colour to the other one. So I think I will put that there. Just 
just put that there. So I'm going quite plain here. There's a bit of room to do other stuff. So you're always thinking about your colours. You know, like if I were to put, you know, something like that there, then obviously that just blends in with that and then I don't like it sort of thing. So that's always in my mind when I'm sticking things down. I don't want that paper. I may want to put a bit of this here, so I'm going to bear that in mind. I could have a piece of this going across and then some yellow, then that, they really all go together, don't they? Um, or otherwise, just looking through my papers. Oh, I have these. That was not the one that I wanted though. This is something in the blues. So how wide is that? No. Okay, so I'll do this width first and then I'll tear off. Oh, I can't see. just wrap that around yeah okay <laughs> I was gonna Flatten it out with a piece of paper, that's clever. Okay, and that's the back. Yep, I like those colours. And... I wonder if I just fussy tear it. I feel like it needs something else behind it. I feel like it still needs something there. Put glue all over my fingers. They blend in too much. I might just feel like I need a little Tracy one. Hmm, have not found a home for that one yet. I keep pulling it out.
over there. That's it. I'm going to leave that space. Put a little butterfly there if you want to. over there and that one is done okay now with this here I had these these were going to be little pockety things that one needs to be glued at the bottom where's my glue thinking so these books have many um, pages in there like there's like a few fussy cutting flowers there and there but sometimes they're really spindly things and you just don't feel like like I, I don't know I wouldn't cut those out necessarily those ones so you know what I'm going to do it's going to be a very simple quick pocket I'm going to glue that on there and it's perfect size for the envelope so let's put glue all over the envelope flip this over because I might be able to fit two on there actually um, I'll trim that down afterwards it's crooked this is where I open the um, envelope when the mail came a nice quick way to decorate up an envelope pocket the that there. Let's see if I can fit another one. Now that one is open there and there. I can trim it down if it doesn't fit. They don't have to be the same size. But what I do, will do before I um, glue this one on is I'll just cut this one off. And you can leave that jagged edge if you want to, or you can trim it off. So let's put some glue here. I'm going to trim that down. Make sure you're sticking it down where the top is. I need to give my scissors a bit of a clean. They've got stuff stuck all over them. Okay. And I will trim off this edge here. It's bothersome to me. There we go. Okay. And so then, um, we'll do that one as well. So the first thing I want to do is just do a little snip here. Oh, although, although you'll be able to see that. Oh well. I might stick a little piece of paper in there. Or oh, might just see the grey of the envelope. Or you can slide a bit of paper in there, but I'll wait for it to dry. Okay, so you can see it's a pocket. Then we can Like, for example, you could just grab a little piece of paper like that. Oh, I like that. Just a jet. Uh, what does Wendy say? Juge it up. Juge, that's a hard word to say. Juge. Juge. To juge. I'm jugeing. <laughs> Put that there. And maybe I want to cover up that word. Am I finding a piece that I like? No. 
could even use some book page. I'm going to stick that in there actually. That's annoying me, the grey. This is why you need to keep all your little bits. So you can use them for this sort of thing to do little repairs. Slide that in there and just, it's not hard to slide it down. It's harder if you were going to have a piece going right across, but I'm not worried about that. So that's going to go in there. Now you just use another piece to go in the other one. Just pull it out of my garbage basket. Why not? Hopefully I'm recording because my, my phone was going flat. Okay, so that's that. Now I need to put something on here. this little piece of paper oh I like that I'm just going to take that bit off there put that there and then or a Tracy label or one of the stamped labels could be good I'm thinking So, might be too big. Quite like it on that one. Maybe that one. Yeah. Oh, down there. Okay. Or you could stick a bird on there, like it's, you know, in a garden. Stick butterflies on there. Just a simple label. Um, just a few different bits of papers. Like, even that, to me, is just lovely, without even without the label. I might have even ruined it with the label. Who knows? It's... Some people will like it, some people will hate it. Um, instead, this one, I feel like, well, it would have been fine just like that as well. But I think I'll put that on there. Okay, and I've done it, that one, opposite, opposite. Now, let's do this idea. Now, here. Um, yes, that's what I want to do. So I need to trim this first. It's only printed on regular copy paper. I think, actually, I should have done that first. I think before I finish trimming it, I'm going to glue it to a piece of paper just so it's stronger. Because it's just regular copy paper, this one. So I'm going to glue it here and then cut it out. Just so it happens that it's plain on the other side. Okay, put that over there. And now these will go sideways, they will, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to glue that on three sides there. So, so it's going to be like, just ignore the fact that this is plain and you're thinking, oh, that's a journal card. It's not meant to be a journal card. I'm going to make an, like a postcard pocket. So you could probably do a little bit of writing there if you wanted to. So it's just going to be like a floating pocket. We won't look at the other side yet because we get the we like the element of surprise. It's 
just, you know, all different um, fun things to do to add extra elements to a journal. Oh, now, let me just think. This is coming to me. What if I were to leave that on there and fold it down like a flap? What if I were to do that? I wonder what, what would we think? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. That's a new discovery. There we go. Oh, I like that. It's kind of like an envelope with a postcard. Yeah. So when it dries, I'll do a little snip there. I'll wait till it dries. And then on this side, I like this. I'm going to put a label. Probably a stamped label, I think. You could put a bird on there, all that sort of stuff. Or you could even put one of these more old world. Oh, I like that. I'm going to put this old world leaf stamp on there. Uh, label, not a stamp. Got a bigger one. Do I want a bigger one? Oh, I don't want to cover that flower. Let's put it over here. No, not a bigger one. So it's kind of like, almost just like pretending it's an address label. How cute is that? Oh, that would be so cute for Happy Mail. Oh, cool. I like that. I like that idea. I really do. I'm very pleased with that idea. So you know what? I think I'll explore this idea a bit more. Um, we'll do it in our weekly challenge. I'll do more in our weekly challenge of that. I'll have to make note. I love that. Cute. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave that one. Okay, we'll explore that more for the weekly challenge. So there we go. We've got plenty made. Um, really fast. Well, those aren't so fast. They're a bit more fussy. So I've got three window pockets, two, the other parts of the envelope, just really quick botanical sort of pockets. And then this thing. I like this idea. I will, I'm going to do more. So I'll come back with a weekly, Roxy's weekly challenge and we'll, we'll explore this idea more. What can we do with that? Okay, cool. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great weekend and I will see you again soon. Bye.